All right, welcome to week two. This week in English, we are talking about sequencing. So we're going to learn what it is. So in your home learning journal, you need to write the date, which is Sunday, March 29th, 2020, and your LO, which is I can properly sequence events. Okay, remember you can pause the video at any time. You do not need to take notes unless you want to. You don't have to send me your notes. You will have to do an activity. So it is important to know some of the sequencing words. But you can go back and watch the video again if you need to, or you can write them down. It's up to you, okay? So for now, you just need to write the date and the LO unless you want to write notes. So what is sequencing? Well, it's really easy. Basically, sequencing is just when we take events and we put them in the correct order, or we put them in order. So when we are sequencing, we use sequencing words like first, next, and then. So you guys are already really good at using some sequencing words when you tell me about your journal. So the ones that I saw for a day in the Ukraine, some of you were using those words. So first I did this, next I went here, and then I ate this. Okay, so we're going to look to see some more words. So normally at the beginning, your sequencing words are, so the events that, that come first at the beginning, Okay, are words like first, to begin, to start, once upon a time, first of all, one day, it all started when, in the beginning. Okay, so there's some ideas for your writing there that you can write down. Remember, you don't have to. When we get to the middle, okay, there's a lot more because your middle can be big or small. So the events that happen next, so after the beginning, okay, use words like after a while, soon, meanwhile, suddenly, all of a sudden, next, then, second, after that, later, at that moment, before long, eventually, afterward, and at this point. And finally, at the end of your story or your sequence, so the events that come last, they use words like at last, finally, in the end, afterward, last, after all, lastly, by the end, and by this point. So this page has a lot of helpful words for you to use in your writing, just when you need to sequence things. And you will be doing an activity later on today, uh, at the end of this lesson, where you need to sequence things. So you might want to take a good look at this page so you can have some word ideas to use and also you're going to have a little project this week and you'll have to use some sequencing words for that as well. So this page is very important, okay? So you can write down your favorites or you can just remember it in your head. All right, let's keep going. So we're going to look at an example and we're going to talk about an event in our life. Okay, so I'm going to read it to you, and I want you to think in your heads if it makes sense or not. First, I brushed my teeth and got ready for school. Second, I woke up to my alarm clock and went downstairs to eat breakfast. After that, I rode the bus home and did my homework. Next, I said hello to my teacher and did my best grade three work. Finally, I got on the bus and rode it to school. So, one, did all of the events make sense? Or did they not in the order that they were? So, yeah, first I brushed my teeth and got ready for school. Cool. But second, I woke up to my alarm clock and went downstairs to eat breakfast. So I woke up after I brushed my teeth? That's a bit confusing. Oh, but then after I woke up, then I rode the bus home and did my homework. But then next, I said hello to my teacher. But I'm at home. Is my teacher at my house? It's very confusing. Oh, but then finally I got on the bus and rode it to school. So I feel like the order in this sentence, or this paragraph, might be a bit off. Okay, what do you think? So let's see. The passage did not make sense because the events were out of order or out of sequence. So if we separate the events, okay, the first one, it says, I brushed my teeth and got ready for school. 
The next one in the paragraph said, I woke up to my alarm clock and went downstairs to eat breakfast. Then it said, I rode the bus home and did my homework. I said hello to my teacher and did my best grade three work. I got on the bus and rode it to school. So what I want you guys to do is put those five sentences or five events in order in your book. So you need to pause the video, okay, and write them in order. Remember the words that we have, first, second, next, after that, then finally. So first is the first thing that you did, okay? Second would be the second thing that you did. Then you could use next or after that or then, but finally is the last one, okay? So you need to pause the video and write them in order, and then we'll see if you got them right, okay? So we're going to check your work. So the correct order says this. First, I woke up to my alarm clock and went downstairs to eat breakfast. Second, I brushed my teeth and got ready for school. Next, I got on the bus and rode it to school. Then I said hello to my teacher and did my best grade three work. Finally, I rode the bus home and did my homework. So if you put all of those events in order and used first and finally properly, and probably second, so first, second, and finally, next and then, those can be mixed up, but first I woke up to my alarm clock and went downstairs, correct? Second, I brushed my teeth and got ready for school, correct? And then for next, you could also put then I got on the bus and rode it to school or next I got on the bus and rode it to school. Correct. Okay. You could also have next I said hello to my teacher and did my best grade three work or then I said hello to my teacher and did my best grade, grade three work. But you need to have finally I rode the bus home and did my homework. So if you got all of those correct, you can give yourselves one, two or three checks for your own work. One, if it was a bit tricky. Two, if you were like, yeah, I think I kind of get this, but I might need some more practice. Or three, if you were like, this is the easiest thing I've done and Miss K has lost her mind because she's giving me way too easy work. Okay? So give yourselves one, two, or three checks. And we're going to keep going. Okay? If you give yourself one check, or even if you give yourself three check and you just want to play a game, there is a game just here, okay, that I've found for you. And you can just play it. You don't have to, it's not for marks or anything, so it gives you a grade. Don't care about that. You can challenge yourself. You can keep playing, see if you can do better each time. All right? So that's just an extra game that you can do. So you, it's optional. You don't have to do it. What you do have to do today is have mom or dad print out the sequencing activity, or you can draw it in your book that I'm going to show you on the next slides. There are three levels, okay? You can choose to do one or two or all three, but you need to do at least one, okay? You don't have to choose which, you can just choose which one you want to do. As long as you have done one of the activities, that is fine. If you want to do two activities, that is also cool. All three, that is totally bonus okay so the only thing you need to do is at least one activity two activities and three activities are up to you your choice but you have to do at least one activity okay then you're gonna just send in a picture of your activity to your class dojo portfolio for me to see again the notes you didn't have to take so if you did take notes you don't have to show me those are just for you okay I only need to see the activity so let's find out what your activity actually is. So level one, okay, this one is pretty easy because you don't have to do too much. So here we have a life cycle of a butterfly. There's a bit of reading that you need to do. So it says the butterfly. The butterfly starts its life as an egg. Soon the egg opens and a caterpillar comes out. The caterpillar eats plants and grows fast. Then the caterpillar makes a hard shell around its body called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar changes into a pretty butterfly. Then the butterfly flies away. So what you need to do is you need to either draw or cut and glue the pictures into each box. Okay? So first, what happens first, what happens next, what happens then, and what happens last. 
okay? Then you just need to write a sentence, just one sentence about what happens, okay? So all of the information you need is on this one page. You can either print it out or draw it. So that is level one, okay? So you are welcome to do this activity as your only activity, or you can do one of these activities, okay? Now this is level two and level three. So again, you only have to choose one activity from either this page or this page to do, okay? You can choose to do one of these or both of them, okay? So both would be level, remember three activities would be your level three, two activities would be level two. You can choose. So what you need to do for these ones is either do, or you can do them both, the butterfly life cycle or the frog life cycle. You need to, again, cut the pictures out, okay, and put them in the correct order on the page at the bottom. Or you can just draw them out and draw them in your books, okay? Then you need to write at least, at least a sentence, but I would like more than a sentence about the life cycles. So if you were going to do a butterfly life cycle, the first thing you need to do is put all of the pictures in order. You can glue them in or draw them. And then you need to write about it, remembering our sequencing words, okay? And it also that the sequence has to be correct. You can also do the frog life cycle, which is the same thing. You're going to cut out the pictures of the frog. And if you watch the science video before you do this activity, it may actually tell you what the answers are and the correct order that they need to go in. So just wink, wink. You can watch the science video and check that out, okay? So the frog life cycle, you would need to cut those out or draw them in order, okay? And then write them again, remembering to use sequencing words, okay? So that is the options. Now you can choose to do either the frog or the butterfly life cycle. You do not have to do both unless you want to. You can choose to do this level and do both the butterfly and the frog, okay? Or you can just do the level one, the butterfly, or you can just choose one, uh, one of these, okay? So remember, you only have to do one activity, level two and level three, so two or three activities, those are bonus. So just choose one, and then if you would like to do more, you can, okay? But you only have to do one. So either do the butterfly life cycle for level one, or the level two, level three butterfly and, or frog life cycle, okay? You choose what activity you would like to complete, and you can complete all three, all right? That is your English for the day. Please remember to take a picture of your activity or activities and send it to me in your portfolio on Class Dojo. And I will see you back here tomorrow for a little bit more English. All right. Have fun.